white dwarfs and neutron stars. Stars are born, live, and die. They are mostly born in the same way, from a cloud of gas and dust. When they die, they also leave behind gas and dust. But the very process of death for each star can happen differently. Depending on its mass, at the final stage of its evolution, a star can turn into a white dwarf, a neutron star, or even a black hole. All three of these types of objects are characterized by very high densities, whose description is carried out by particle physics and quantum mechanics, and their gravity by the general theory of relativity as well. So you can imagine how dense their matter is. One teaspoon of neutron star matter weighs approximately one billion tons. How about that? The sizes of these objects are comparable to the sizes of planets, but the conditions there are so extreme that the problems of the equations of state and the internal structure of neutron stars have still not been solved. At the same time, the structure of white dwarfs has been studied to some extent based on Chandrasekhar's theory. It is hard to imagine what is happening inside neutron stars. In essence, hydrostatic equilibrium in neutron stars is maintained on the one hand by gravitational pressure, and on the other hand by the pressure of degenerate fermions, that is, neutrons and electrons, with very high energy values. A typical temperature in the surface layers of neutron stars reaches about 1 million degrees. The internal structure is similar to that of the Earth. There is something like a surface with more or less reasonable densities, then a crust, and then an inner neutron fluid that consists of admixtures of protons, electrons, and muons. The density in the center rises to about 10 to the 15th grams per cubic centimeter. At the same time, Neutron stars also possess strong magnetic fields that produce many interesting observable phenomena. A neutron star with a powerful magnetic field is called a pulsar, and pulsars are potent sources of electromagnetic radiation that are often detected as periodic pulses. We will discuss white dwarfs, brown dwarfs, black dwarfs, neutron stars, magnetars, and other similar objects in a separate video.